what are the the main features of the subcloud integration, sub, uh, HCI cloud integration? Um, so the the main feature and the reason why you want to go with it is well, I guess it's it's a cloud based uh, solution. So SAP is trying to push it really fast and has had as adding a lot of new functionalities and features to it which makes it uh, quite useful and uh, the the main focus of of the delivery um, the reason why you don't want to go with uh, with MuleSoft or anything other than uh, other cloud integration providers is um, cloud integration subcloud integrations are able to to reuse your your message mappings which is really useful um in in those cases because it yeah it's just much more simple to to have you can take your mapping if you have a lot of edf fact ma mapping and stuff like that you can migrate them and that's a big part of the the integration uh, process um, it's a lot more flexible platform so you can do a more complicated scenario a lot easier um, and, and especially for, for cloud uh, integration it this is uh, quite cru crucial because a lot of time uh, when you're dealing with uh, cloud application it is something about call the service get a token uh, once you get the response back call another service and do like that so so therefore it is really useful to to use uh, the the camel framework that they're using for it. Um, the the other reason why you're gonna go with it is it contains a lot of pre-delivered content that you can just take and use without having to do anything with it. So uh, it's it's really easy to to set up and just say, hey, I got this pre-delivered content, I'm good, and then you can uh, use it uh, out of the box and that saves a lot of time on the different integration projects you have because it's just click and start. Um, so I think that's the, the main features and the reason why you want to go w with it. The pre-deliver content, it's cloud, it's uh, rapid development and the message mapping so are your existing artifacts you can uh, made your concerns. Uh, there's obviously a lot of concerns in, in this uh, and if you want to move to it or not. Um, SAP is, is pushing new software updates uh, quite rapidly, I guess once a month. Uh, so you're getting new functionality that often and that is something you have to, to, to live with. And they're providing some, some uh, regression testing service to ensure some flows would run even after the upgrade. Um, then obviously it's a little immature platform um, that you don't really have the same flexibilities and, and capabilities uh, of it, of it as as on, on PI. Uh, I I have heard some people say that it's a little slower to develop on than than a PI. Uh, for, for some scenarios and obviously if you're doing on-premise you don't it becomes a little uh, strange sending data to the cloud and back again uh, to your on-premise system that is standing beside each other but if you have a, a cloud integration migration strategy it may be good to have it as a, as a hybrid uh, deployment options um, and something would be good for, for, for some of the things and other would would not be useful the the yeah obviously there's some adapters that is not there uh, you don't have a plain soap uh, plain uh, HTTP adapter I think if you're using those things they you need to log no you can do that uh, I think the only one that that's really missing is um, of the the adapters that are missing is the XI adapter, and I think that one is uh, scheduled for for Q1. Um, JDBC adapter is also missing, as I recall it, and that is also in in the pipeline if it's not already there. Um, so, uh, but obviously, if you have some specific adapter, then 
that there's not delivered, then obviously that's a, a concern to you. Uh, but and I think GMS, there's some questions there also whether or not it's all uh, supported. So they're using a different GMS provider and dealing with things a little differently. I think AS2 is just coming out also if you got the, the big big package of it. So there's some, some differences uh, between them. And obviously if you have specific requirements for specific adapters, it's a concern to you. But if but some of these you probably want to redefine anyway because it's a new scenario and you can do some new things with it and therefore it, it makes sense to do it that way.